Hi, we're back to our five minute Chinese. Today, we're going to talk about one culture difference for me. I think it's a culture shock, even. Mm -hmm. What is it about that? What is it about? I love you. I love you. So, what is I, I love you? Well, I need you. Recently, let me tell you a story. Recently, this is a very popular sh talk show in China. Uh, the interviewer, uh, the television, ask some interviewer, just uh, uh, find find some people in the street randomly to interview them. Uh, the question is very simple. Hey, they are all men. They ask them, the uh, interviewer ask all the men, ask them, hey, what is the thing you think so far in your life your wife has already done uh, for you, which make you think is the most, uh, make, make you feel most uh, moved or touched? And of course, all the men started to recall and tell, the, tell uh, their individual stories. And at the end of this interview, the uh, reporter asked them, all the men, one more question. Okay, could you just call your wife? To tell her how much you love her, or just to tell her I love you, you know what is the result? This happened in China, not in this country, not in America. If this in this country, all the guys who use no problem, I call her, I love you, hi honey, I love you. But this happens in China. All the men refused. Even all the men told the reporter their story, what the things their wives has already have already done makes them feel so touched but they don't want to call their wives to tell them I love you. Their excuses are so funny. Some man says, if I said, if I call her to tell her I love her, she must ask me, are you drunk? Or some guy said, if I call her to tell her I love her, well I, well, I mean she may ask me, did you do something wrong today? Or she may, she may ask me, what's wrong with you today? What's wrong with you today? Or even some guy said, my wife will definitely ask me, hey, did you betray me? Did you betray me? And so all of them refused. Some people said, even said, we have been couples for many, many years. We don't need to say this to each other. And some men said, I don't feel comfortable to tell her that. And some people said, I never say that to her. And we have been married for many years. It just would be a little bit weird for me to tell, to tell her that. Mm. So all of them said they don't feel com comfortable. And they will feel weird to say that to their wives. But, but the, re the reporter insisted on and pushing them to call their wives so eventually all the guys call their wives and the responses are really funny some some lady asked only one lady only one lady to, uh, told her husband oh that's so nice to hear you told me that only one only one all the other I cannot remember probably there are in total there are 10 to between 10 to 15 men were interviewed uh, all the others said, hey, what's wrong with you? Are you at home or are you at a bar? You're drunk? And someone said, did you take rum pills today? It's so funny. And some people said, hey, you must do something wrong today, do you? It was so funny. And this is what I want to talk. Let me tell you, I was one of such wives five years ago, five years ago, because in our, you may think it's so funny, but in Chinese people's mind, we think that it's pretty normal. We never say I love you between couples, between parents, between friends. And the difference here is, I just know this from the first day I came to this country, I noticed how easy for American to say to each other, I love you. I'm serious. You can tell your friends, I love you. You can tell I love you. You can say I love you too. Almost every every day, excuse me. Every day. And almost uh, between couples, they always say, 
I love you every day. Mm. So it's as the uh, first years like that um, in my marriage when my husband said that to me, I love you. It's hard for me to give the give, give the response same like I love you too. It's really hard. It's really hard for me to say that back, honestly. So every time, because in our mind, so you may think, "Hi, oh, Chinese people don't know how to don't know how to love." No, no. Of course, we know how to love. You might say Chinese people don't know how to express love. You may be right partially, but not completely, because we does we do know how to express love, express love, but we believe more actions speaks louder than words. So we prefer like, even wives we prefer to be like this. If you love me, okay, share my house share more housework. If you love me, okay, um take care of the kids all the day. If you love me, okay, cook all the week. Share something with me. If you love me, give me massage. All this do something for me instead of just telling me I love you. I love you. That is the Chinese people's uh, philosophy. Also, what in our culture, when girls start to date with guys, parents always, always give the children. One of the most important tips is don't believe the guy who always tell you he loves you. Such people in Chinese we call Tian Mi Yu. Tian Mi Yu. Tian Mi Yu means sweet words, honey tongue. Sweet words, honey tongue. In our culture, we believe such men are not reliable. Never date with them, not mention to marry them. That is our culture. Mm -hmm. But I have been ma uh, married four years, and let me tell you right now, I have got used to, to say I love you too. I love you too. Probably I'm not the first one to tell my husband I love you, but at least now I started to learn to say I love you too. And now I almost speak, to, to I almost say I love you to my baby, to my uh, son every day. But let me tell you honestly, it's so hard for me to tell this every day to my mom. It's so my mom lives with us, but it's so hard for me to say, "Mom, I love you every day." So hard, because, like what the man said, I just feel weird when I face to Chinese the people who have the same culture background with you, and we know we don't say that. It's so weird for me to say, "Mom, I love you every day." No, but it's so comfortable for me to tell my husband and my baby now. So I hope in our family we combine the Oriental and the Western culture perfectly together. Mm -hmm. And I want to say, um, I cannot tell you which one is better honestly, because I really think Chinese people do know, understand what is love. And Chinese people's love is very reserved, very, very, very deep. It's much more than just saying I love you. I love you. Like my mom. My mom, my mom spends all her life love me. And right now my mom pass, passes all her love to my family, to my son, to my son unconditionally, unconditionally. And all this I understand. And I want to do the similar things to return. It's hard for me to return, but let me tell you, it's so easy for me to do something for my mom and then just to tell my mom, mom, I love you. That is our culture difference. Culture difference, there's no good or bad, no better. Just the difference. Difference, everyone's different, but everyone is correct. I think this words applied for the, each culture also can work. Every culture is different, but every culture is super. Okay, I'll see you next time. 再见! Thank you for watching our video. Please like and comment if you really enjoyed. Also, if you want to watch more videos, please 
subscribe to us. If you're interested in donating to help us, please check the links below. Thank you. Bye.